So it's been way too long that we don't do this modification on the EK hatch and we finally are able to freaking do it. Today we're gonna be installing these Tain Street Bases Z coilovers on my wannabe EK hatch. So me and my brother are gonna knock this out as fast as we can. Do you want to put a timer to see how long we can take? Hi, hi. Sure, you got it? All right, cool. Got the little homie over there that's gonna be taking time, see how long we're gonna take. So let's get this work done. Coming down. Bro, that's a lot lower than I, what I want it. You can still raise it up. All right, cool, thank God. <laughs> that's hella low, dude. Hey, bro, remember this? <laughs> oh. No, that wasn't. No, that came from the wheel, bro. Well, your oil pan's higher on this one. <laughs> it is? It's just the exhaust, the header. Oh, okay. Oh, so I hit the exhaust or header on the floor? No, 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 on this car. Oh, yeah, for sure. What? Huh? <laughs> Alright guys, so we're actually going to be coming up two inches uh, on each coilover because it's way too fucking low. Uh, my header is literally three fingers, three, finger, three fingers height from the floor to the header, so that's no bueno at all. So, we got the... Uh, My brother-in-law knows all that calculation bullshit. I fucking don't get it to be honest with you. <laughs> now it's recording. Okay, don't let me do this side because I keep bugging you to help me adjust heights and shit like that. I need to be able to figure it out on my own. So, what do I do? You take your reference measurement from the top of the... Uh-huh. Are you gonna be coming in an inch? Oh, shut us. Make sure the bottom is back down all the way. And then just start turning this one, then come up an inch. And then come up an inch. Mm -hmm. Are you measuring it from the bottom or from the top? From the top of the, bo the bottom ring. Oh, okay. The top of the bottom ring. Gotcha. So a lot like right around there. No, see, we want the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the half inch bar. So uh -huh. You gotta do it. <clears throat> Mass? Yeah, yeah, there's no Oh. But you can move the tape, turn it by hand, and just keep doing it. Damn, dude, you're doing that shit easily. Oh, there it goes. And a little bit more. You're literally showing the fender right now. I am? Oh god, dude, this is so fucking uncool. Okay. So, right. From the top of the ring. 
From the top the of the top of the bottom ring. You're on the bottom of the bottom ring. Right. Uh, that's about right. Okay. And then move the bottom ring up. This one? Like that? Yeah, turn that one kind of far away, and then that one clockwise. So this one this way? You said counterclockwise. Like that? Yeah, and then this one. I'm not gonna too tight because then you have that issue you have with other flowers. Yeah, no kidding. Just like that. Sweet, I learned something new. I'm good. That's good for me. No tire. It's perfect. Mm. Let me see. Two. These are the magic fingers. Oh, fuck. Pulled it out. Yeah. What the fuck is that? That's all the little spot welds from those the pull things that they. You ever see the car with like a bunch of like pull? Yeah. I, I don't know what they call it, like rivets or something. Yeah. Then they hammer the dent out. Oh. So it was crashed, huh? Damn. You can't even notice. Let me see. It's weird. How about we can push out this dent right here? I'm for real, do you got a hammer? <laughs> or a mallet? Fucking hit that bitch out. That's weird. Look at this piece of shit. <clears throat> Damn, bro. You weren't lying, dude. Look. Thing is fucking gone. Holy. Damn, dude. Alright, guys, so we finally installed these coilovers. They're looking. Well, they seem a lot better than the ones that uh, we had on before. From the bottom of the tire to the fender, from the bottom of the fender, we're at 23 inches all around. And uh, these coilovers that we had beforehand, they're complete pieces of shit. I'm, I mean, just look at the quality. And they're all mi mix and match. Some of these have ground control uh, springs, and then others have iBox. And this one is a complete different brand right here at the bottom. These look like, yeah, the... Yeah, they're all types of fucked up, to be honest with you. But that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you to click on the video. I hope we were able to teach you something. And right here on the inside, obviously, we need to uh, 
take off the whole door, uh, panels and all that good stuff and to get access to the back ones. Uh, shout out to my best friend Josh for able to provide me for <clears throat> with all brand new top hats and all that good stuff. And obviously, that boy Julio over there uh, always let us use his garage and tools and all that good stuff. So leave a like, subscribe, comment, and let me know what we can do next on the EK Hatch. Hey guys, so a huge shout out to the guy that I detail, always hooking it up, always being super helpful with anything that I buy or anything that I need for detailing. If you're in Houston, Texas, make sure you check out iDetail. <clears throat> I believe they're over by Telephone Road. That's gonna be the location if you Google it. So, in every single car that I have, I make sure that I have an iDetail sticker to represent good peoples that help me out and that help the community out. So, make sure you go ahead and support them. They also have a, a they also have a, uh, what is it called? Uh, a YouTube channel. So make sure you go subscribe to them. I'm gonna leave their link in the description down below. So, thanks for watching, guys.